Hello and welcome to the adventures of Robert Wedderburn. Today we're going to be taking a look at an unusual and colourful species of antelope that is endemic to southern Africa, the Blessbok. The Blessbok is a subspecies of the Buntu book. This species has two subspecies, the Blessbok and the Buntu book. They both have very similar white blaze markings on their faces, but the Blessbok's white blaze above the eyes doesn't meet the white on its face and is broken up by a white brown band between the eyes. It also has a white belly and rump. The Blessbok has a reddish brown coat but lacks the purple gloss seen with the Buntu book. All of the antelope filmed in this wildlife documentary are the Blessbok, as I'm currently in KwaZulu Natal where the Buntu book doesn't occur, but I do hope to do a documentary about the Buntu book in the future. This species can weigh up to 85 kgs. Females usually weigh around 60 kgs and males around 70 kgs. Both males and females have horns that are dark and ringed from the base to the tips. The Blessbok's geographical range covers much of South Africa, except for the southwestern region of the Cape, where Buntubok are found exclusively in Feinbos and Ranostafelt biomes. The Blessbok is also found in Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe and Eswatini, previously known as Swaziland. They can be found up to 2,000 meters above sea level. The Blessbok's natural habitat consists predominantly of high felt grasslands, shrublands and bush felt. This is a relatively quick species of antelope and can run at speeds up to 70 kilometers per hour. Rams and ewes are very similar in appearance but the female's horns are more slender. The Blessbok's lifespan is around 15 years in the wild and their leading cause of death is predation by carnivores. This is exclusively a grazing species of antelope and they prefer to feed on short green grass and recently burnt felt. They need to drink water to digest the grass that they eat and are thus usually found within one and a half kilometers of water, especially during the dry season. The Blessbook's main predators include leopards, lions, cheetahs, African wild dogs, spotted hyenas and humans. Jackals and eagles are also known to attack their calves. The Blessbook's breeding rut is from March to May and the calves are born in late spring during the rainy season in November and December. Pregnant females have a gestation period of around 8 months. A group of Blessbok is called a herd and the name Blessbok is Afrikaans for blaze buck. Because of the white coloration on their faces that resembles the blazes on horses, Hybridization between Blessbok and Buntubok is a priority issue in this species and there are now believed to be thousands of hybrids between the two subspecies. They have also recently been intensely bred for different color variants or mutations. Hybridization between these two species threatens the survival of these two distinct subspecies. Other threats include hunting, habitat loss, the skin trade and the Muti trade. The Blessbok is classified as a species of least concern on the IUCN's red list of threatened species and the Buntubok is classified as vulnerable. There are around 78,000 Blessbok in the wild today and their numbers are increasing. On the other hand, there are only 752 to 1,618 Buntubok left in the wild today. Well, that's everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed this wildlife documentary about the Blessed Book. If you've got any questions about the Blessed Book, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments below. If you haven't already given this video a like, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can receive further notifications about my wildlife documentaries. And I look forward to seeing you on my next wildlife adventure.